When it's uh, October 22nd and you're in the mood to make a Christmas project, that's what we're doing. So I have one of my, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, silicone tray molds from BB Craft that I am going to be filling with the world's most exciting color of resin. Clear. That's right, clear. So I have run it through my uh, airless for about 10 minutes uh, just to get all the bubbles out of it. And I'm going to be pouring, did I say it was three ounces? It's three ounces. So I'm going to be pouring that into our mold. Now, this is not going to fill up the whole mold. No, this is a five ounce mold. So. Why am I only putting three ounces in, you ask? Well, mainly because I'm going to be putting in some inlays. And I'm going to put back coat on it. So if I fill it up all the way, I can't put a back coat on it without making an absolute epic mess all over the place. And I don't want to do that. So I do see some stowaways uh, that thought I had gotten out completely, but apparently I didn't. Alright, so since we have right angles, I'm going to go around with a very pointy silicone tool around my edges here, just to try to encourage any of those bubbles out. Because we don't want bubbles. A lot of times I don't mind bubbles, but in this particular case, since it's going to be mostly clear, I don't really want them. So, run my tool around there, try to get as many of them out as I can. Is that on my board, or is that on the outside of the mold? Hmm. I clean the mold really well with um, some masking tape to make sure that I didn't have any foreign objects, any debris in there. Uh, well, I cleaned it as well as I could. Let me put it that way. But, you know, things always find their way in. Ha-ha! Gotcha! Mwa ha 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 Alright, so, there's that. I do have a couple of little bubbles here. That are floating to the surface. So I'm just going to spray lightly with the 99% alcohol and let some of those just do their thing, go away, you know, pop, whatever you want to call it. Now, I said we were going to be using inlays, and we are. Uh, so the inlays that we're going to be using are ones that I made myself, and here they are prepared earlier. What this is, is this is the inside of the uh, leaf tray mold. Uh, this is just a, a thin layer, let me show you, that was on the inside that I just put on the bottom part of here, just to make a thin inlay, a subtle leaf shape. And since it's, you know, sort of generic leaf shaped, uh, it could be an oak leaf, it could be a holly leaf, it could be insert leaf description here. So what I'm going to do, so I have it here, cleaned that side off really well with uh, sticky tape, and I'm going to sort of bow it up in the middle and gently lay it down into our resin. Because I want it to float. I don't want it to sink. And the good thing about silicone is, nine times out of ten it floats. Unless it is super heavy. So there, we have that in there. Now, I do want to scooch it a little bit just to give it a little bit of off centering. Now, what I have over here are little silicone half spheres that I have made a while back and cleaned. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place 
this guy there, and then I have two smaller ones. So now we have a leaf and uh, berries, twig and berries, leaf and berries. And eventually what this will turn out to be is a holly inspired holiday tray. I see some bubbles. I'm looking at my screen where I can see the camera and I see some bubbles around the edges that I can't see from where I'm sitting. So just trying to get those out. You guys probably saw them too and said, hey Rev, bubbles, get them. Get the bubbles. Get your bubbles, you right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm in a silly mood. And again, I'm going to apologize for all my sniffling because I am still, still sick. Uh, I just can't seem to kick this stuff, but I'm trying. Uh, all right, so there we have it. I'm gonna spray one more time with our alcohol. And it looks like one of my little holly berries is deciding that it wants to go cattywampus. So let's encourage it not to, shall we? There we go. All right. So I'm going to let that cure, and I will see you guys for next steps. See you then. It is time for next steps. So let's get out our little inlays here. One berry, two berries, and three berries. So now what we're going to do, and you can see that leaf detail in it, which I really dig. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three of my favorite colors of my eye candy ghost red, ghost green, and glimmer ghost gold. And we are going to embellish. probably thinking to yourself, what are you going to do with gold, Rev? Well, let me show you what I'm going to do with the gold. Over here, I have about two and a half ounces of my Fooey uh, Tim One to One. And I'm going to take some of my gold. And add it in. Look at that. Blend and blend and blend. Now that gold is mixed in beautifully. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I love that. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to go around the edge and then just 
just let the resin find its way into the middle. There we And that already looks really cool. <laughs> so, I'm not going to use heat. I'm just going to go in and spray with some alcohol. Start letting those bubbles do their thing. And yeah, we're going to let this cure. And I will see you guys when it's time for deep mold. Mm. Look at those pretty colors. Yay. See you soon. Yep, it's time. As you can see, I took the liberty of forgetting to film me pouring the thin layer of bronze gold over the back of our tray. Hope you uh, don't mind, but if you do, okay. Um, so let's demold. Let's get it out of here. mold away. Thank you for your service. All right, you guys ready? Because I am. I'm really interested to see how this turns out with the inlays and everything. So, ready? One, two, three. Oh my. Oh my. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. The green leaf and the little red berries and the gold. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. That it just turned out beautifully. I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. Oh. Oh, yeah. See the colors there, look at that. Let me turn. Let me adjust the camera a little bit and give you a little more accurate interpretation of what it looks like. Yeah. Gosh, that turned out pretty. <sighs> so, just a lovely ghost leaf. <laughs> Tray. Subtle, yet very, very holiday appropriate. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love it. I think it turned out beautifully. I would uh, love to hear your opinions as well. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers. <laughs>